This is it, chick. This Life? I mean the living color, brother. This is the same crap that was in the alley, dude. Brand Last new, week. Brand new studio, chick. I can't that, believe it. That is leading us into a new year. And what does the new year mean? New year. Revolution. The Olympic Auditorium. January 12, 2002. Man, that is exactly right. 2002 is the year. Now, this is the first show of the new year back at the Grand Olympic Auditorium of XPW. New Year's Revolution. What are you, you you're marveling over this? Beauty junk. Now, folks, the rumors have been flying around XPW on just how big this show is going to be. The rumor mill is churning OT, dog. Yeah, over time. And you know what? The thing is now, this is a show, trust me, Rivera, not to be missed. I know something. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, on this extravagant television show of the XPW, we are going to try and get some more detail, some insight, into this upcoming event, the New Year Revolution. We are also going to go back to Retribution and take a look at the XPW TV title defense as Kid Chaos, the Chaos Chick, take on that behemoth, that monster, the savage, the undefeated Bobo the Clown. And make sure and catch this because there's some chalk, chocolate surprise coming your way. I can't believe it. That's I still, right. I still can't believe that one, fans. All that plus much more right here tonight on XPW TV. Don't go anywhere. Um, yes, um, Mr. Black won't be in today, but can Kevin Conrock and, uh, Angel report to, uh, his office? Because Mr. Howard would like to speak to you. Thank you. you like an entire week? I got something to make you feel good. Yeah, well, but listen to me. Listen to me. Yeah. I felt bad. All right, that I kicked you. All right? So I went out and bought you a little present. Okay? You ready, man? <laughs> huh? I got a little Jew? Now you got a little Jew. Look. You bought him a carrot? That looks like a carrot! It's not... The other people are the terrorists! Ah, you do care. I care, man. What are you Okay, listen. What? Now that I'm talking to you, I wanted to tell you this last week, but I'm a little pissed off. You're a genius. What you did at Retribution, when you had that guy attack Kid Chaos and bust him open, that was great! What guy? I, the, 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 the mask guy? The, the guy in the black with the mask. I mean, who'd you hire to do that? I didn't, I didn't hire him. What do you mean? I didn't hire him. I don't know who did. I didn't nothing to do with that. That wasn't like part of the whole, let's get the Enterprise, let's make Lizzie happy? No. Who the hell was that guy? I don't know. I'd like to thank him. But it wasn't me. I don't know where he came from. Dude. Hmm, that would be scary shit. And that doesn't it, concern you? Yeah. Well, listen to me. As long as he don't come after us, I don't give a shit what he does. He's going after chaos. He's after the Enterprise. So, who cares? Okay. I can't believe I lost again. 
I'm not feeling comfortable with this whole thing. So, me and my little Jew, we're going to go see what we can find out about this, okay? Alright, you go. You have nothing to do with that. Dude, I have nothing to do with it. You couldn't buy me a jacket? Like the one you were wearing? Get out of here. What a loss. Like If your body needs modification, get on down to Soul Expressions Tattoo in Temeca. Versatile and creative work applied by award-winning professionals using the latest technique and sterilization available. Safety and satisfaction are our number one concern. There's no better gift than a Soul Expressions gift certificate, and we accept all major credit and ATM cards. If you're a victim of bad judgment, we also specialize in cover-up work. Soul Expressions Tattoo in Temeca, 909. 296-5065. Fans, welcome back. Last week, right here on XPW TV, we saw that three-way war, if you can call it a war. At times, it seemed more like a like a cat fight, dude. Between Preston Ask the third Ascot. Ascot. How many what the way is it the thing okay? Ascot! The thief, Ascot, that's the third angel, as well as GQ money. That three-way, if you're gonna call it a war, I don't know. I once again, I don't know what you are looking at, chick. But what I saw was a classic display of technical wrestling ability. Chick, of this match would make Edward Carpentier proud. And bro, when you think about it. When you see the Kevin Kleiner up there, Chico, the way he was running around, directing traffic, telling his boy what to do. I believe he has a future position as a top manager here in the SPW if he ever decides to pursue that role. And the bottom line, his boy won the match. And you know what? Well, I have no love loss for GQ money. I think the basic 2 on 1 advantage did the guy in. Don't forget, there is still a little bit of tension between this angel and the ascot. Yeah. And I'm not talking about the sexual kind of tension. Oh, uh -huh. this, this has been brewing for a while now. Angel is upset with the Kevin Klein Rock for paying more attention, for giving his devotion to the Preston Ascot D3. North Dakota, we don't drink sh coffee with sugar in it. Did you uh, remember the farm fresh half and half? Though? Yeah, Vermont farm fresh. Thinking, you know, did you remember my Wisconsin? Oh, Kevin! Jesus! Hey, folks, go. Retribution, we did it, you know, you and me. Yeah, yeah, we, I won. You won. We did, you know, it was the whole... I got season. the one, two, three. Got the one, two, three. I killed, I killed GQ Money and, you know, Kevin, oh, what's, who were these people on wrestling? I thought you were going to start me at the top. Well, we're going we're gonna to get there. We're, you know, you really impressed Rob. You know, you and me, you know, we're Rob likes my man. Rob, you can love your man, you know, with... Thing going, you know, you and me, this whole team. I thing. think I, I think I'm up there now. I think I'm at the top of the I, list. I, I think you're ready. So, thanks what, what to I'm me gonna and, do uh, is, you know, you and me and and, and 
you know, I mean, because Rob, you know, he kind of considers us one. You know, I mean, I, I, I brought you in, and, and, well, and, I, and Kevin, you're, you're great at uh, coffee and getting coffee for me and everything. But you know, let me do the match and the wrestling. You know, I think I, I did a great job out there. Yeah, you were there. You, you took off my sweater, but uh, really, I won the match. Um, I thought it was uh, you know, a great you know performance what? You by Preston Ascot the third. I think you just got to get to know me a little better. Ah, you know what? Leave this to me. I, I, got, I got an idea. I got, you know, what I do? We got, I, I got an idea. You just, you, just, you got to get to know me a little better. Here, enjoy it. Coffee. It's Scotty. Farm fresh. It's, it's fresh. Don't worry about it. Matter. I can't. Who is it? King. Who? King, K-I-N-G. Music. I do you know what's there. He said it to him. Put the music. Come on, I'm going to start. Waiting. Put it on, put it on. It's him, trust me. Chains back, you Dude, know. I don't have them. I told you that. Yeah, I didn't say you did. All right, I, I believe yeah. you. Conan. Yeah, exactly. Conan. Conan. The Mexicans. Exactly. Shady. So uh, anyway, I got Clarence working on that, so I'm not to worry about that too much. But right now, besides the tab, I would like to know, um, you know, got the new show coming up pretty... Oh, you're going to give me the number? Should be pretty low now, right? Pretty low, you know. Seventeen six forty eight and um, thirty four cents. But don't worry about the yeah, thirty four cents. Yeah, yeah. I think that's wrong because I remember last week it was only like seven. He talking Where did about? the teen come from? He talking about my liar. The, the teen. Am I a liar? I don't lie. Last week was seven. No, it was seventeen. Don't you remember seventeen? I, I want to remember the teen. No, man. no, you were upset about the gold. The chains, Conan took them. Um, Seventeen. It's always been so. Actually, it's 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 like nineteen, twenty, twenty-four. It's down to seventeen. Don't worry about it. Well, that's that's a likely possibility. I got the I got them all on my on my mind, you know, because they stole my stuff, you know. And then they're saying all these mean things about me, you know, call me a paper champion and whatnot. That, that, that ain't right, man. You're not a paper champion. Anyway, I need to know. I need to know because. Actually, I'm kind of interested in, you know, taking on one of them, of uh, La Migra, La Familia, whoever they is. Mm, listen. Or maybe even the Sandman, because, you know, there's something going on there, too, you know. Everyone coming at me, you know. People think I don't got what it takes. So, you know, let's line them up in a row, you know. Oh, well, Take them all on. We'll start from the bottom. Start with, uh, with the, what's his name, Fabian 976. Then we'll go after, um, what holiday, uh, Easter, right? Then, uh, then after that... We got the psoriasis, and then who's after him? Um, juvenile Juvie. gorilla. Juvie. Exactly. And then Kotex, you know, get rid of him too, and the same man too. That drunk bum. And get my chains back. Listen to get me. My chains back. Listen to me. me. Listen to me. Get my chains back. Uh, you'll get the chains back, all right? I got everything covered. You don't worry about it. Don't listen to me. You don't concern yourself with them. Your focus is on the mystery opponent. And get my chains back. You'll get your chains back. Your focus is on the mystery opponent. Alright? 
Do I always take care of you? That's like three times in a row, man. I mean, what's going on with that? With what? With a mystery opponent. I mean, it's ridiculous. Don't worry about it. I think... I got this now, you know. Why can't I pick? You know? You pick somebody, and maybe we'll... I'll do it. You think about it if I pick somebody? Yeah. Alright. So don't worry about it. But uh, listen to me. Go and, and, and try and find... You know, the chains and stuff. Yeah, I got Clarence working on I bet you if you go down to TJ and Will's pawn shop, you'll find the chains there. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's likely. That's exactly exactly good. They are. Anyway, I got to take off. I got to go to my boom chew class, you know. How's that coming? It's pretty good. You know, there's a lot of people in there. I got, got Shaquille O'Neal in there. And uh, even, um, what's his name? Your boy, uh, Ron Jeremy. He's in my class, dude. Get out of here. Yeah, no, really. What's he doing in boom chew? It's like a celebrity thing, you know, like Tybo, you know. Like everyone what? wants to be there. What degree Big thing. Mean? Um, I think he's like negative two right now, you know, because the weight thing. Anyway, I, I got to go. Boom, you? All right. All right? All right. So, you know, and Clarence is going to let me know about the chains and whatnot. Don't worry about the main event. Right. Come on. Did he mean? Did he mean, Mom? Please, please say you're right. I want to see you are so gay. I mean, you're beyond gay. You know, you are gay. When I entered the room, put on Barbie Girl. Preston, yeah, I'm looking at your pictures on your website. You're looking better and better every day. I mean, there is no one that's going to be able to stop us in XPW. So listen, all right, you know, remember how I said, you know, I think you feel more comfortable with me if we, like, you know, spend some bonding time? So it's thinking, all right, listen to this. Sunday, how about this? We'll meet at the country club for breakfast, you know, a light breakfast or something, you know, some pastries and whatnot. We'll, we'll, we'll do, the, do the 18 holes and, uh, yeah, 18 holes. You know, you and me will put up the holes. And then uh, we'll, we'll do some tennis, maybe, maybe uh, you know, cool off in the, in the sauna afterwards. And, uh, you know, just, just take some time to bond, get to know each other, you know? Yeah, exactly. All right, 18 holes in a sauna. Sounds like a good day to me. All right, I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye. Welcome back, fans. In just a few moments, we're going to take you back to Retribution and live XPW action. But I got to tell you the big information right now. Ticket information for the big show, New Year's Revolution, coming to you Saturday night, January the 12th at 8 p.m from the Grand Olympic Auditorium in the heart of downtown Los Angeles. Now, right now, tickets are available. Six ways of going about getting them. Three ways! Right here through XPW. Call the XPW box office, 818-755-8757. Come down to the box office at 11133 Van Owen Street, Sweet Letter D in North Hollywood, or go to xpwrestling.com. Now, tickets are now available for this huge event through Ticketmaster. Call them up. 213-480-3232. Go to Ticketmaster.com on the, on the keyboard dude or any Ticketmaster location in Southern California. Saturday night at 8 p.m. January the 12th from the Grand Olympic Auditorium. This is the show not to miss, folks. That's absolutely correct. Great club, kick. January 12th, Saturday night at the Great Grand Olympic Auditorium. Every single XPW Championship will be on the line. Supreme will defend the king of the death match title. Johnny Webb. Webb. C C C Webb. C C Ryder. Is that what's it? Will defend the XPW Gold. Grand Dario Di Moldi. XPW Heavyweight Championship. And just like he was defending at the Retribution. The XPW Television Championship will be defended by Kid Chaos. And now let's take a look back at the Retribution as the Rock, a superstar. What are you doing? What, are you running? what is that? What are you? You're not working. Along with the support yeah. of Veronica Kane, DJ Rouge, GQ Money, the Enterprise, take on the undefeated Pogo the Clown. In this clash of two very different styles, surprising 
They saw. Couldn't believe it. Let's go to the map, kick. I still can't believe it. What the hell was that all about? Rivera, the TV title is up for grabs. Chaos, defense, in my book. We're going to see tonight the new television champion. you got to put your money up, Pogo the Clown, as we see the entire enterprise coming to the ring. Veronica Kane, GQ Money, motivational speaker TJ Rush, and there he is. There's the television champion, Rivera. There's Chaos, but for how long? Right here in the Olympic Auditorium Wrestling Fan Day, you have the current XPW television champion, the one and only Chaos. Chico, look at that sick. He's been hitting the gym lately. Eating the Wheaties, lifting the weight. Wheaties. Tremendous upper body strength. And let me tell you people, this is going to be the first true challenge. Oye, mira, Rivera Fan Club. Mira bien, ahí lo tiene. You gave him that sign. Ahí lo tiene. One ahí. guy. Oye, oye. Back to this match. Back to the action, Chico. This will be his first true formidable challenge for Chaos as champion as he faces this monster, the behemoth, the terror of the XPW. I am speaking of no other than Bobo, the Cloud. We have the anti-Chaos fan club out the Olympic Auditorium. So many people, so many people are disgusted with this guy, Rivera. Myself included, I mean, for what he did. Look at the new attitude. Who the hell does this guy think he is? I know he's the TV champion. I know he's a tremendous athlete, but will he get by Pogo the Clown tonight, Rivera? He's got to use his quickness in this matchup. No surprise to me, Jacob, that these people, after what he did to the Uncle, supreme, middle of the ring. Of course, what a tragic incident that was just a few months ago here in Los Angeles. Superstar Chick, ahí lo tiene Superman Bow. Ahí lo tiene. Now my question is this, Rivera: Will he take out the belt in this matchup? Of course, last month out in Pico, Rivera, he left the belt on the whole the whole night. But Rivera, we could be looking at right here. We could be looking at the new in my book. This guy will be the new XPW TV champion. The number one contender for the title, Pogo the Clown. Need I remind you, the undefeated Pogo the Clown. Chico, a native of Chicago, known to, to have maybe, who knows how many cars under the house. But <laughs> well, right now, this is one of the biggest, toughest participants in all of the extreme professional wrestling industry. Right here, Chico. One of the toughest, biggest challengers to the title that Chaos has yet to face. And believe me, Chaos may be throwing, like you say, jiving a chuck chick. Chucking and jiving. But inside, he's shaking like a little baby. I he thought, Pogo. You know, Rivera, we talked earlier here in XPW about Pogo not getting that title shot. But now he's got that title shot against Chaos for the TV title. What a monster right there. Striking fear into children. You can even the, run. The world over. Ron Head going back to his chair with that phone book on top of it. He looks very scared as well, Rivera. And I don't blame him. Pogo the Clown, the number one contender for the XPW television title. As Chaos defends, Chaos, the man who won the tournament not too long ago here in XPW, and you got, I got to agree with you, Rivera, this is his first real title defense here tonight in downtown LA, and this match just about to get underway. Look at Chaos, very, what is this, Rivera, look at this, he doesn't even want to get the match started. Obviously, Chaos 
He's giving the belt. It looks like he's going to, to wrestle without the belt he tonight. He took the belt off. You're right. Wait. Oh, yeah, boy. Que es esto? What is this? Patrick Hernandez. Esto va, va a luchar con el cinturón puesto. Displaying the belt for all the fans to see. The title is on the line. But look at that chaos. He snagged it away from senior official. Now he's strapping it back on. Está loco este chaos. Oye, look at that. Veronica King. Oh. Ring inside. Of course, GQ Money John with the fans. The fans don't care too much for that guy either. And what does Pogo have in his hands? Looks like one of those Hawaiian lays. You see the gals here with the shickety, shickety, shiggy, wanky key style. Hey. He's beat chaos. What is this? This guy's nuts. Oh, wait a minute. Chaos took the bell off. Pogo, look at this from behind. Chaos all right between the eyes. Maybe Pogo is trying to lure Chaos into his basement of horror, chick. I don't know why uh, Chaos would be so mad about getting laid. Seems like the only way that Chaos can gain the early advantage is by slamming that bell across the back of the head of Pogo, chick. And look at this, Chaos strapping it right back on immediately, Rivera. The television champion wearing the television championship belt in this matchup. Irish Whip duck underneath Chaos going for a cold line as Pogo. Oh, look at this. Up and over. Chaos landing on two feet. Kicked in the midsection now. Now it's Chaos's turn. Another reversal by Pogo the Clown. Going for another duck underneath. And look. Oh, did you see that close line, Rivera? That patented close line of Pogo that can take the head of, of any unsuspecting pro wrestling participant, Jake. If it's you or me, chico, we estamos muertos ahí en el medio, en el medio del ring. De Decapitation almost. And I mean, look at this now. Chaos, what is this? Wait a minute. Chaos looks like he may be going to the back. You know, people... Look at this. GQ Money. A lot, of, a, a lot of gente can say sing about this chaos, but Jacob, there's one fact that you cannot deny about chaos. He's setting the new trend. New plan in the pro wrestling, Jacob. Look at the haircut, the hair color, haircut. The new, the new clothes, the attitude, the wrestling with the belt on. All kind of new, new trend here in the basement, Jake. And now Chaos with the advantage. Oh, looks like he's going for the Chaos Cutter, Rivera. Beautiful move, and that shows the upper body strength, the tremendous strength that Chaos possessing, being able to manipulate the ball. Look at that. What is he doing? Drop down and give me 50, chick. This is a proud to be a, uh, a Uncle Sam over here with the push-ups. And look at this, going for the count, one, two. A very nonchalant cover there on the part of Chaos Rivera. Chaos now continuing to stomp away. Oh, no, no, you got to be kidding me. Oh, look at the strike, Rivera. He got him way up, hoisted him over his shoulder and just planted him in the canvas. What trick? You can see he's grabbing his back, Rivera. That's similar to El Canek lifting Andre the Giant in Mexico in 1980, Chico. That was, that was a tremendous display of strength by Chaos with the body slam and Pogo the Clown. And it took a lot out of both men, Rivera, but now Chaos going upstairs with the strap on Rivera. If he hits this big splash from the top, it could be over, and he nailed him! Beautiful, and extra impact was added to that move as he landed directly on top of Pogo with the belt, chick. That belt coming right across the rib cage of Pogo. Unbelievable, now Chaos with the advantage. I mean, this could be it right here. Going for the cover, one, only one count there. You gotta do a lot to take out Pogo the Clown. And Chaos has been doing a lot in this match. You know something, man? Chaos is the only champion in the world that truly take advantage of his title belt, Jake. To me, that's a foreign object. Rivera, and there it is, the beautiful patented clothesline from Pogo the Clown, once again. Just about decapitating chaos. Another one of those bone crotching. Head slam. Close line. Snap, hey. crackle, and pop. Dude. And now Pogo the Clown. Look he at looked this. Like, he looked like a French fry going down to the, to the slam. Oh, yeah. to the French fry. Please. It looks like Pogo the Clown is going to take the advantage here. Beautiful elbow. We may see some catch up with those flies pretty soon, Rivera. If Pogo keeps having his way like he is in this matchup, too. 
Huge elbow drops right there. That, that big elbow drop, reminiscent of the atomic school crotch of Johnny Valentine. Or the big dusty road. The big, the big dust dropping the elbow. Are you seeing more Olympic auditorium ghosts? Chico, Chico, I'm flying around. I like Madame Truffaut uh, over here. Who are you going to call? Madame Lao, the house of voodoo in the Olympic. House of voodoo. Look at this Pogo Clown going after Cat, choking him out. Choking away. Referee Hernandez right there checking him out. And Pogo the Clown, look at it, just eyeing Hernandez. And Pogo the Clown with the upper hand. This could be it, Rivera. If he keeps the match just like this, just the way he wants it. Stop Chaos from using his speed, his agility, his quickness. But as Chaos fires back off the ropes here, Chaos going upstairs. Oh, look at this. Oh, no! no. Ah! Chaos just landed on the back of his neck, Rivera, on the concrete floor! The back of his head hit the concrete. There is no question in my mind that the power of Pogo almost threw him into the first row. Pogo the Clown with a power bomb from the ring over the top rope through the announce table. The timekeeper's table on the floor and Chaos's head smacked on the concrete floor. This could be it for the TV champ right here. Unbelievable. This, this does not look good for the, the Chaos as a possible conclusion in the work there, Jake. And look at this, Pogo doesn't give a damn. He's, he's making fun of Chaos. Uh, look at look at the back look at the back of Chaos head. God, you can see the bump already. The, el Chichón, se está formando un Chichón en la cabeza, como se está formando un lío aquí en el Olympic Auditorium, chick. And now Pogo the Clown taking no mercy on the champion now, going right after him. You can see Chaos still grabbing the back of his head, and now he goes crashing into the security railing. I can't believe that impact he took Rivera from the top of the ring down onto the concrete floor here at the Olympic Auditorium. I can't believe it. I still can't believe it. You know, a lot of the SPW fan and fan all over the world underestimate the ability of Paul the Clown. They think he's just the makeup, the chalk value, the chick underneath all that makeup. Whoa! Look at that. What a shot that was. Underneath all that horror, chick lies a, a truly talented, a skilled wrestler, chick. He may have knocked out a few pearly whites from Chaos right there with that shot. Oh, look at that, the close casket crunch. And this could be it, Rivera. We could have a new television champion. I've been saying it for so long now. He just nailed him with the finishing move. Going for the cover. This is it. One, two, and what is GQ Money just pulled Hernandez? What the hell? Outside interference by the part of GQ Money. You saw it. The camera does not lie, Jake. And this is it, Rivera, man. It's the entire enterprise once again going against Pogo the Clown. Man, you know Pogo have the match won. We should have a new TV champion right now here in XPW. Oh, wait a minute. Chaos, look at this, Rivera. Chaos planning the attack. Pearl Harbor, Chief. Oh, the love flying it. guillotine. Chaos, Staley Pogo with the flying guillotine. And now he's got a pin. What? Where's Hernandez? There he is. No. Two. You gotta be kidding me, damn it, no! GQ Money had the foot! GQ Money had the foot of Pogo the Clown! Damn it! Unbelievable. It's, Unbelievable! It's four on one, Rivera, and look at Pogo, man! He doesn't even know what happened! Unbelievable! He doesn't, he doesn't know what hit him! This is the first defeat! The first loss! The deal numero uno! I can't believe it! Pogo the Clown! The first defeat for Pogo the Clown and the SPW. And look at the Enterprise running away from Pogo the Clown. Like a bunch of cowards. Chaos. I mean, GQ Money had the foot of Pogo the Clown. Pogo would have easily kicked out. Not only that, Rivera. Pogo had the match won. He's only oh, at Pogo going after the Enterprise. History being made here, fun. As Chaos. Oh, what oh, the hell? hell? Surprise. Who the hell is this? Surprise attack. What the Red. hell? This guy just came out of the audience. Look at the mask. Chicken. What is this? Who the hell is this guy going after the TV champion? Yeah. What the hell's going on? The Enterprise ran yeah. for their life. Bow. Bow. Right on top of the head again. Who is that? He's going for something in the pocket. Who Pulling is this Sunset. guy, Rivera? Do you know who this is? Pulling a foreign oh yet. What is that? Uh, it looks wow! Like, oh no, it looks like a knife. It looks like a blade, like a it's box a cutter. What are those? Exacto knives. 
Oye, no me digas que es esto. This. Look at the mask, chico. Looks like a, a mask from a mental asylum. Mental asylum. Well, maybe that's where this guy came from. As he just rolled that knife right into the head of chaos. Who the hell is this guy, Rivera? And where did he come from? Oh, chaos. He, yeah, he's busted open, Rivera. You can see it. Oh. This guy going after chaos now. This guy relishing in the blood. Going after the TV champ, obviously has a score to settle. I mean, he just... Look what's at the, the hand. What's the story? Look at the hand. He's, oh, look at that. He's pinching the skin. He's peeling oh, the this. skin off. Well, this he, is sick. If you have children in the room, Chico, take them take them to the kitchen for some, oh, God, for he's some wiping, ice cream right now. Rivera, look at this. He's wiping. He's licking Chaos' his blood. Esto es una, this is sick. Esto es una barbaridad. Esto es un ejemplo de, de la violencia y violence that is present in the society today, Chico. And this guy's not Rivera. He's only not. a return to the Lou Tess style of wrestling will get rid of this violent crap. This guy's Once not. and for all, Chick. And he's squeezing. He was squeezing for more blood to come out. Like he was popping up. Like when you pop your pimples, dude. And not that I ever uh, partake in that. But chaos. Oh, look at that, Rivera. Look at that. There's the television yeah, champion. Buddy, yeah. Yeah. Who the hell was that, Rivera? You know, I you know. Why you're, are you pointing? I have no idea who this guy this is. Must, Dick. This could be someone with the Black Army. Oh, who know? Who the hell was this guy? Well, there you have it, Chico. The Enterprise does it again, and the victor turned out to be the one and only Chaos, as he take home the XPW TV title trap one more time. And now, ladies and gentlemen, early in the week, we had a chance to see Chaos and his agent get you money, the agent to the star, as they had this to say to the XPW TV. When I look at the title scene in XPW right now, I'm sick to my stomach. I want to puke. I've witnessed a heinous act of debauchery, and that is who our champions are. Let's look at it right now. World champion, white trash Johnny Webb. Not Webb. No, not Webb. Because the only man deserving of a one-name superstar title is this man right here, the rock superstar, Chaos. Chaos. That's right. right and now let's look at King of the Death. Match Supreme? Didn't you beat that guy? That's right. Didn't you take him out? Right on. Didn't we burn that mother f down? Right on. That's what I'm talking about, and it makes me sick that we have illegitimate champions. We have guys that don't deserve the belt, and we have guys who are not prepared to carry this company on their shoulders. They are not prepared to become the superstars that we already are. So you know what we're gonna do? Do you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna lay this title on the line every single week, each and every Saturday, right here on XPW TV. No illegitimacy here, no paper champions here. We're drawing up a contract, we're leaving it open, and all you have to do is sign the dotted line. And I don't care if you're an XPW, because we'll take all of those guys out. We'll take out anyone that's not an XPW. We're prepared to prove ourselves as professional wrestling's greatest wrestler and agent combination. We are prepared to show that we are going to elevate ourselves to a level unparalleled by any. And why? Why? Simply put, I'm simply the best. So get in line, take your chance at being the champ. Take your one chance at being simply the best. And you know what? We'll just take them on each week. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Because it doesn't matter who steps in the ring with this man right here. You're just going to be another jackass that the Enterprise has to deal with. E-aw! E-aw! <laughs> Keep it coming. Keep Woo! it coming. Woo! Keep it coming, bitch. Woo! Wait a minute now. Chaos is going to defend every week? Every week right here on XPW TV? The television title? He made me. Now this sounds ludicrous to me, and it better not be like that title defense he had against Pogo the Con. I mean, Pogo had him pinned for the one, two, three. They could have counted to 50, if you ask me. But you know what, pal? The Enterprise had a plan, and it worked. But let's not forget about after the match, 
This this masked man that came out of the cloud from the Grand Olympic Auditorium, storming into the ring. I mean, he he basically was covered in black. Yeah. Big guy. Except for this weird, bizarre white leather mask he had on. The question that I have, why the hell did he go after chaos? And did you see what happened when he went after chaos? I mean, he just he bladed chaos wide open. This guy is one sick, twisted puppy, pal. He was he was squeezing the blood out of chaos, wiping it all over his face. This guy's bizarre. Jake, you make some good comments and ask some good questions. But I believe if you were half the journalist that you claim to be, you will be out in the street digging up the dirt, getting the scoop, getting the real story. Who the hell this guy really is, Jake? Well, me? What about you, pal? Me? Come on! Oh, I'm oh, no. I going, I going anywhere near this guy, Jiggle. Get in the... This guy is just psychopath, psychotic. With the blade, cutting the head. Get in the blood, putting on the mask. You are not going to find Larry Rivera within 10 feet of this maniac. Well, hey, let me tell you, Chico. Next week, I'm going to do some investigation, dude. I'm going to ask the tough... Tough questions, man, and I'm gonna find out just who this, who this bizarre, this this monster is. And you can bet that this guy, most likely, after what we saw, he's gonna be there January 12th. I gotta believe. We get a revolution. And whatever, whatever apparent score he has to settle, doesn't seem like it's settled yet. Who knows? Maybe he's gonna settle that score Saturday night, January the 12th, from the Grand Olympic Auditorium at 8 p.m. as XPW presents. New Year's Revolution 2002. Now, tickets are on sale through Ticketmaster. Call them up at 213-480-3232. Go to Ticketmaster.com or any Ticketmaster location right here in the Southland. You can go to the XPW box office. Call them up. 818-755-8757. Go to the office. Take that, take that uh, car. Get someone in the diamond lane. 11133 Van Owen Street, Sweet Letter D in North Hollywood, or you can go to the web at XP, not, not that way, at XPWrestling.com. And Chico, speaking for the XPWrestling.com, I want to remind all you internet fans out there, the XPW fan with the computer, Chico, that on Monday, December 10th, this coming Monday, the return of XPW Radio to XPWrestling.com will have the kick. Make sure you are there. Monday nights between 7 and 9 p.m. But now, by overwhelming demand, we will bring you a look at the great show, the retribution at the Olympic Auditorium. We leave you with this look. Yeah.
What's up, Enterprise? It's me, Supreme. Did you think I was gone? Uh-uh. I f***ed your monkey up. He tried to bring out that, that TJ sh**. TJ sh**. He ain't did nothing to me. Two on one. What are you guys thinking now? What could you guys do? Throw everyone at me? F*** that. I'll handle anything. I'm focused on you. The f***ing Enterprise Kid Chaos. My little nephew. <laughs> f*** you. Okay? Rob Black? Still f*** with me. Still trying to f*** with me. Oh, look, I'm gonna use the Enterprise. I'm the master of puppets. F*** you. You ain't sh You know what? I'm not gonna ask. I'm gonna tell you. This New Year Revolution bulls. I want chaos. Or f***ing anybody from the Enterprise. Give them to me in a f***ing death match. I'm happy. Oh, you don't care if I'm happy? Let me tell you something. If I'm not f***ing happy, I'm coming after you. And you know exactly what's going to f***ing happen. You don't want that no more. Right? Monkey! Monkey! F*** you. 2002 is going to be mine. The new year. Kid Chaos, I'm devoting... The whole year deal. 2002. F*** it. 2003, 2004. All of those years, you're mine. F*** it. We're family. I get the f*** of your entire life. <laughs> you know, have you seen it? Everything's been alright, right? Okay, there's no way around. No, no, no. Okay. Make sure you, you, the signal is tuna, okay? And then I'll know. All right. Put it on, put it on. I'm gonna go exit. Oh, is that, that your music? I'm a pretty Oh, okay. You're pretty yeah. No, okay, I'm cool. Ugly. No, I'm cool. Ugly. Go get the f out of here. What? What's wrong with you? I ain't putting that. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna see. Get out of here. Maybe the guy in the mask wasn't your stroke of genius, but you can't put one over on me. I know you. Where were you today? I called in. I was wondering. And they said you were out playing around with... What's his name? Uh, ask... We got a date Sunday. We're going to do like 18 holes in a sun. Something like that. Drop him. Drop him. You weren't with him today. No! Got like a nighttime and weekend thing. Okay. So, you may not be a genius because of the whole mask guy thing, but this, this is brilliant. The flyer. You've redeemed yourself. The flyer, who cares? Come witness the most shocking debut of someone you never thought would be an XPW and hear the announcement that will change pro wrestling forever. Fire, you're fire. Come on, stop it! Yeah. What the okay, the crimson thing, I can believe. But, Dude, but I didn't do this. Who did this? Who did this? Dude. I didn't do this. Who makes your flyers? That jerk off Tony guy. But I. Dude, I didn't do this. You swear. I swear. Come with this most shocking to be a You know, I can only take so much of this you're not responsible thing. I didn't do this. So get out of here. Go find out. Call Tony up. See what call Tony. Most shocking to be a So who are they talking about? To get out of here. Go go go. I think this will shock you. Change pro wrestling forever. Dude. You swear. Dude, please, please, please. Hey. No, 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 no. Dude, to come witness. What? Oh, man.
No, I really mean it. Thank you. I appreciate that you were where you said you were going to be when you said you were going to be there. Just like we discussed. You were totally there for me. I know that, you know, I've let you down in the past and I haven't always been there for you, but I hope this means that, you know, we can start over. I want, I want our relationship to be the way it used to be. All right. Master Wong taught me everything I know. <laughs>